Well, state basketball tournament action gets underway this weekend. 13 games over the girls and boys brackets across our service electric channel lineup between Friday and Saturday. Now, some of our area teams have become perennial PIAA participants in recent years, while for others, this year's state tourney, well, it marks a destination they haven't reached in quite some time, which is where we begin this week's edition of Top Plays as we look back on the best of the best from the District 11 Girls Basketball Tournament. Starting in 3A, where Catasauqua earned its first PIAA berth in 22 years after reaching the district finals for the first time since 2002. A big reason why? Rough Riders sensational sophomore Haley Jenkins, who notched a game-high 20 points in Caddy's quarterfinal win over an executive education, the Ruffies' first district playoff victory in 16 years. That before Jenkins led the way in the semis with the Baker's Dozen as the number four seed in the bracket pulled off a stunning upset over top-ranked and reigning Colonial League champion Palmerton. 16 win Catasauqua takes on District 12 runner up West Catholic in opening round action on Friday. The Rough Riders, though, ultimately were runners up in District 11 3A, falling to second seeded Notre Dame Green Pond in the finals. The Crusaders using a 12 5 scoring edge in the third quarter in separating for the 34 26 triumph. Senior Olivia Schweitzer saved her best for last, counting 15 of her game high 17 points in the second half. The Colonial League second team All-Star finishing just one point shy of her season high as Notre Dame claims its first district title since 2021 and the program's third in the last six seasons. Josh Kopp's crew is now 21 and five heading into the state tournament where the Crusaders draw Lake Lehman on Friday, a game you can catch live right here on SEN. That game will take place at Rocky Hall, home of the now 25-time district champion Allentown Central Catholic Vikings. Kathy Davidowich's squad, the first girls champ to be crowned last week, started with a 12-2 central lead to open the game, driven by senior Molly Driscoll, who entered the finale with 990 career points and wasted little time securing the milestone bucket. The American University-bound senior guard becoming the 20th 1,000-point scorer in program history with under two minutes left in the first quarter. Driscoll getting a standing ovation from the Central Catholic faithful while sharing the moment with her teammates and family. By the second half, the Vikings' lead over Blue Mountain had shrunk to just two points before Driscoll scored seven straight to finish with a game-high 21 overall. Central with its second straight district title and third in the last four years, the Vikettes hope to host District 3's North Lebanon on Saturday. A repeat champion girls 4A ditto in the 5A bracket, where Bethlehem Catholic actually made it eight in a row on Saturday. Sophomore Kendall Nickasher coming off the bench and helping the Golden Hawks soar to an 11th gold medal over the last 13 years. The 10th grader with a season high 17 points, which included two of Becca's half dozen made three pointers on the day. The Hawks held Whitehall to just a single point in the opening quarter and never looked back, yet moving to 20 and five in advance of the state tournament. The Golden Hawks get the fifth place finisher out of District 1 in Gwynedd Mercy in opening round action on Saturday. Easton, meanwhile, vying for a second straight crown over in 6A, the Red Rovers back in the championship, thanks in part to the Elias Twins, who combined for 24 points in Easton's semifinal triumph over Liberty. EPC third team all-star Megan led all Rovers with 13 points, while second teamer Mallory chipped in 11, as Easton took down the Hurricanes 53 to 32. The sister act combining for a half dozen three balls on the night, they've amassed 102 in total from beyond the arc this season. Easton with 24 points from the Elias sisters in the semis, while, Park, while top seeded Parkland got 24 from Talia Zarinskis on her own in the final four. 18 of those for the EPC first team all-star coming in the first half versus rival Emmaus. As the Trojans built a 16 point lead at intermission and never looked back. The 24 points, the second highest total this season for the Lafayette recruit, who counted 25 back in mid-December. Parkland back in the district finals for the third time now in the last four seasons, and it was in that 6A championship that the senior Zarenskis would match her season high, counting 25 points as the Trojans captured their second district championship in the last three seasons, and now the fifth in program history. 
Parkland orchestrating a 13 nothing run in the second half and pulling away for the 47 to 35 win. Zarinskis a perfect 10 for 10 from the free throw line in the fourth quarter insulting away the victory. The now 26 and two Trojans are home for the opening round of states where they will host Downingtown East the 10th place finisher out of District 1 on Friday.